Hello people, welcome to Gurukula. I am Jai. So today in this video we will be seeing what are all the top 10 websites to practice the programming language which you have learnt. So in my previous video I might have shown you how to learn a programming language. I might have shown you there are four different stages to learn a programming language. So first you have to identify the technology, then you have to identify a particular programming language for that particular technology and then you have to start learning that programming language and that's not the end, you have to practice until you become an expert. So we have already made a video on the first three stages. In the first video, I might have shown you the top 10 technologies to learn in 2021 and in the second video, I might have shown you the top 10 programming languages to learn in 2021 and in the previous video, I might have shown you the top 10 resources where actually you can learn a programming language for free of cost. And in this video, I will be covering the fourth stage, which is a very important stage for you to become an expert, which is practicing. So practice, practice, practice until you become an expert. So practicing is a very important stage in learning a programming language. So this video is all about what are all the various resources that is available for you to practice the coding skills. Before getting into the video, I must like to put out a short disclaimer on this video and as usual, this is not a promotional or paid video and all the websites that I mentioned in this video is not an exhaustive list of websites that offers competitive programming environment. There are much more websites to refer. All the websites mentioned in this video is not in any particular order. You can refer to any websites of your choice. And this video is made only for the educational and awareness purpose. Before we see the top websites which allows you to practice your coding skills, it is really important to see what are all the benefits that we get out of practicing coding in a competitive environment. So these are all the five important points which I would like to highlight. So before explaining each and every point, I would like to quote a small example. Let us assume that you have completed a course on how to swim online and then we have we can also assume that you have a lot more of certificates on completing the course on the topic how to swim. So finishing off a course only on the topic how to swim will not make you to swim really when you have been put inside a swimming pool or if you have been thrown onto the water. What all it takes is you must really practice a lot and then you should have a practical skill to excel in the swimming. So practice plays a very important role in excelling any skill. So we cannot deny that practice makes a man perfect. So that is the very first advantage which you will get out of involving yourself in competitive coding environment. The second advantage that you get out of competitive coding participation is it will develop the ability to deliver results under pressure. Let's take for an example if you are working for a company and if there is any errors or if there is any bug which is identified in the runtime then you will be definitely under pressure which you have to solve or you have to deliver the results as early as possible. So participating in competitive codings will develop that ability so that you can deliver better results even under heavy pressure. Third, participating in coding competitions will make you eligible candidate for most of the top tech giants companies like Apple, Facebook, Google, IBM, etc. I would say that competitive coding is not the only way to enter into these companies but still competitive coding is an one such option which you can consider to enter into the companies because most of these tech chain companies will often recruit their candidates through competitive coding platforms as well. The fourth advantage that you get out of participating yourself in coding competition is it will make you even more stronger with your skills and then it will allow you to stay more focused. And finally, it will make you a great team player which is a very important skill for you to work in an IT environment or in any team environment. So now let us see what are all the various online platforms that is available for you to really practice your coding skill in a competitive environment. So here on number one we have a website which is actually from Google. So codingcompetitions.withgoogle.com. So there are totally three competitions which is hosted by the Google itself. The first one is Hashcode and the second one is CodeJam and finally you have a kickstart. So Hashcode is a competition program where you can participate in team and then you can solve any particular challenge. 
and whereas a court jam is a kind of competition where you will have different levels of puzzles which you have to solve by using your algorithm knowledge so actually the puzzles are like the algorithmic puzzles and you will have multiple rounds of algorithmic puzzles and on winning situations you will be winning a title of court jam champ and also you will be awarded with $15000 and finally coming to the third type of competition you have a kickstart which is actually meant for students and if you are an absolute beginner then this is the competition right for you so here you can actually hone your coding skills with algorithmic puzzles the students are allowed to take part either in one single competition or you can take all the rounds at a time so when i was recording this particular video the competitions like hash code and the code jam registrations were closed but i suggest you to keep this space checked very often so that whenever the registration gets opened you can enroll yourself and you can start your coding challenge journey and as of now the kickstart registration is already open all it takes is to grab up a gmail id and then you can register yourself and then, and then you can start coding and second on my list i have spear online judge simply it will be abbreviated as s p o j so here in this website you can see there are lots of classical problems available and from this problem you can pick any one particular problem and then you can develop a logic in order to solve this for an example you have a simple factorial problem so that you can pick up this problem and then you can try to solve this particular problem using any particular any coding language that of, of your wish and finally this particular list will be updated very often so that you can check this space even often so by the time you solve each and every challenges then you will be getting rank or you will be getting coins you will be collecting some credits in this particular websites which will allow you to put those credits on your resume and which will have an added weightage when you face your interviews and the third on our list we have hackeryat.com so hackeryat.com will allow you to participate in the coding competitions offered by different uh, IT companies like Accenture Amazon and you can see tcs hiring contest as well so there are many companies they host their coding challenges here by using this hacking earth sorry hacker earth platform and here you can choose which type of competition you are expecting to participate and which includes hiring challenges as well so for an example i could show you tcs hiring contest and this is an hiring type of contest so by solving the challenges which is listed on this particular domain you will stand a chance of getting hired from the tcs itself on number 4 we have hacker rank so here in our hacker rank under the tag uh, com compete you can find different contest or you will find different competitions hosted across the globe and it will be updated over here so as of now you have only two active contest and i would suggest you to check this space very often so that you will find more number of contest which will be posted on daily basis or weekly basis and there on number 5 you have projectoiler.net so projectoiler.net will actually give you a simple mathematical problem which is actually give you a mathematical equation and you will be asked to develop or to create a logic for that mathematical equation and then you have to settle down that particular equation so these are all the recent problems which have been Uh, given over here and when you click on any particular problem statement it will give you a mathematical equation and for that mathematical equation you are expected to create a logic and then you are expected to code and then you will have some test cases to run and finally you can submit your code online so project oiler have a biggest community to evaluate your coding and then they will tell you whether the code is right or wrong and there on number 6 you have top coder So in the top coder under the segment compete you can see all the challenges over here. So here you can see there are lots of challenges posted by different organizations and you can play around th this particular filters and you can choose the challenge which you wanted to uh, select from. In case if you are a graphic designer you can select the design perspective in case if you are a developer you can select the developer alone so that you can play around this particular filter and you can choose a perfect challenge that suits for you on successful completion of any of this particular challenge you will be awarded with the cash prize as like shown over here the first prize for solving this particular challenge is $1600 the second prize is $800 and the third prize is $150 which will definitely satisfy your pocket money and then 
in turn you will gain your skills as well so there are several coding coding challenges available on this particular website definitely you can pick up one you can solve that particular puzzle and and then there at number seven you have code chef so this is the perfect place to show off your skills so when you land on this particular code chef website directly click on this particular compete link and then that will display you the list of challenges which is available for you so you have problems from different platforms and where you can select any particular challenge and then you can start solving it and i would recommend code chef is an intermediate kind of coding platform in case if you are in an intermediate level or in case if you are in an advanced level then it is advised to start off with the code chef otherwise i would suggest you to start your competitive coding first thing you can start off with the google's uh, challenge first and then you can check for sbo spoj and then you can check for hacker rank and then in hacker yet in the hacker rank and hacker yet you can check for the simple problems first and then you can progress towards the difficult one so that solving simple problems will actually give you motivation to solve even more problems if you take more toughest problems at the beginner level then it it it, it may be demotivating for you in case if you are not ending up in the right results so codechef is a platform which is best suitable in case if you are in an intermediate level or in an advanced level and next on our list we have coderbyte coderbyte website is also very similar to the codechef and then you can click on the challenges link and where have where you have different challenges which is offered by different companies and there you, on the right hand side you can see filters you can again play around with this particular filters you can choose the difficulty of the challenge you can choose easy medium or hard type of challenges and then if you are company specific in case if you are preparing for uh, the google interviews or facebook interview or any type of thing you can select the challenges which is posted by the company itself and then you can start solving that particular problem so coderbyte is again an advanced level website where in case this is a, a per, uh, th this is a perfect website in case if you are at intermediate level or in an advanced level next there at number 9 we have codewars so codewars in order to join this particular website you must first prove that you have a skill so codewars will throw you a simple puzzle on the different coding language uh, which you have selected let's take for an example if i select the crystal programming language then it will throw me a very very simple puzzle which i should solve by using crystal programming language and then it will allow me to join this particular website where you can sign up and then that you can it will give you a lot more of coding challenges and then you can calibrate yourself and finally there at number list we have code forces and code forces is a website which is highly recommended for the advanced level people in case if you are an advanced coder or in case if you are an intensive coder then i would recommend to participate or i would recommend to have a look at this particular website code forces where you will have different contest and it will be updated very frequently and then you can participate in any of these coding challenges as you could see there are um you have plenty of time to register for this particular courses and then you can solve the challenges so all the websites whatever i have shown you in this particular video works on the same principle so you will have different challenges to solve and you should pick up your challenge and when you solve each and every challenge and then you have to upload it in that particular website and once if your code qualifies all the test cases you will be gaining some credit and the credit may be of any form it can be a revenue or it can be a credit point or it can be your rank or you will be promoted to the higher ranks so you can eventually use this particular ranking in your resumes and which will add weightage while you are attending your coding interviews so these are all the top 10 websites which i wanted to so i'm winding up my video here i'm going to see you in the next video until then it's bye from jai and happy learning